Rainbow Six Siege. In 2024, I wanted to play this game way back when it launched, but I never found the time and then it slipped my mind. Nine years later, I want to finally give it a try and right when I do, Season 9 drops, everyone and their mother is playing this game again. So it was a perfect time alongside the hype to really give it a chance. And as I start in Chapter 1 as a new operator, I'll go through frustration, realization, addiction, and eventually understanding. This game is a lot deeper than I anticipated and there's a lot to understand so let's pick up the pace. Luckily everything starts very simple and peaceful. There isn't too much action, not too much shooting, just hop into the tutorial and learn the basics. Now of course it's the most boring so we're gonna skip over it. I just played the tutorial, I understood the controls and then the game apparently forces you to fight AI. So I did a little bit of research and the internet told me just do a 1v5 against AI and then it'll unlock PvP. So that's what I did and to be honest fighting the AI kind of got me into the gunplay. I have no idea what happened there. <laughs> I just listened to the audio, but okay. As you can tell, I was kind of overconfident. I liked the guns and the shooting, so I was hyped to get into PvP because surely if I could dome these AIs, I would have zero problems when it came to fighting human and- What? Ah. Oh. Bro, where'd you go? My team just left me. Yeah, no, I was getting frustrated. This was way harder than I expected. I knew Rainbow Six Siege has nearly nine years of history, but the complexity is truly there and I barely started playing this game. I'm like two hours in, but nope. This is going to be a long journey. We go again. Oh, was there a door? Oh, there's a door next to him. Oh, he like, oh, he like jiggle peeked me. Bro, he went right under, bro, it went, okay. I am so low. Oh, is that a good angle? Nice. I feel like I did good. I don't know. I felt that was smart. I felt that was smart. I felt like I did something. I don't know though. Well, there was one upstairs, but I didn't put a trap on my flank, so... Is it too far out or something? Why does it do that? Or is there... Maybe it's a trap or something? They pushed us, huh? So you can push outside. I feel like this guy knows what he's doing. I should have destroyed the thing and pushed the drone to clear it. No reason to pretend that they didn't hear me destroy that barricade earlier. I genuinely almost quit. I thought maybe, maybe this game just wasn't for me. But then I played another and it was on this specific map. This map that let me get some kills, talk to my teammates and start realizing, realizing why this game was so popular. Nice. So we have bomb here and bomb here. Okay. So can I put, let's say, this down here? Bye bye. <laughs> I don't know. Am I supposed to do that or not? Bro, as if I know. So this lets me run around. Oh, damn. I almost got him. He's low. Oh, no. He didn't even know where I was. Okay. I think I finally played that round okay. I just didn't know the map. I didn't expect to run into someone there. Jesus, dude. If I leave this, do I get to go back to it or no? I can. Mm. I think I used this guy right with the smokes. I think he's not bad. So what we did wrong there is we had to go defuse the bomb and we didn't as the other one was hiding somewhere. Now I understand why it's so important to keep this drone alive because you can actually see it again. We know they come through here because... It is time to do some research. So all operators in Rainbow Six Seed. And it's two hours and eight minutes. Just to learn this damn game. 
I was watching some videos, right? It took like, the, uh, it was a movie. It was like two hours long. And uh, on attack, the two recommended for me, basically is what I understood, was uh, Buck and Thatcher. So we're trying Thatcher. Let's go. I just need to know where they come from. But with Thatcher, I can put traps down. And what was recommended was a 3-2 uh, method, I believe. Since they might come through here, apparently what I'd want to do is get these like really low. Right? Like that, right? And that's like one. What? Bro, I was still... I was trying to talk. That is, that's, I'm tilted. <laughs> Wait, I just helped out. Wait, I can scan while dead. I didn't know I'm supposed to actively help. I'm not going to lie. I kind of just went on my phone. Oh, yeah, he did. Wait, I got the kill. The trap I placed. That guy who went flying was my kill. <laughs> so we have the bomb here. We have a doorway here and a doorway here. I feel like I should maybe even just go with like one here. One here. Okay. Another one here. So that's like the, my nuclear explosion. And then on this side, we'll go one here and one here. Okay. So I have those two doors down. I can place... Is that a... I think that's a bulletproof camera. Okay. And I want to like get down. Oh. Okay. I'm learning how to defend. They're fully on site. Okay. What is that? What is that character? What is this? I don't like that character. What the heck is that? Damn. I don't think that's a good spot because I think they'll see it, but... Oh my god, maybe they won't. Oh, I pinged them. There you go. Now I'm seeing it. No way! How did that even look? Ah, nah. It's not a good peek. I thought it would throw him off, but it's too easy to flick onto my head down. Attacking seems like it should be fun, but I'm just down bad at it. That's the problem. I am down bad at it. What? There's someone right there. Oh, it's a... Oh. While I admit I did begin to realize why the game was popular, I didn't quite realize how to play the game myself yet. There were just so many things that still boggled my mind and you hear it during my live commentary, like attacking just wasn't processing. Clearing, breaching, I didn't understand how to properly find the enemies. I felt like I was always getting ratted on, angles that I had no idea existed. Some of it I understood came through time, but some of it was frustrating. Some of it I just didn't quite grasp and to be honest, I was was trying a few different operators and closer to the end I do lock down towards a couple operators which does help me learn the game a little bit quicker but regardless at this very moment I was still extraordinarily lost Oh, not gonna lie, this ceiling falling apart was me. The frustration was intense, and I just kept dying every two seconds. But something about this game, through all the swears, frustrations, and anger, had me hooked. Oh, I got your ass, boy! Oh, I'm definitely addicted. Man, I am so bad. I, I don't understand how to push. Shout out to Pox on Locks. So I realized while studying, I'll, I'll mute him for a second. So why is everyone's game look like shit, bro? We're playing a Roblox mod now. I guess it's for clarity, right? Because it's a competitive game. But like, it looks so pretty. Most Siege players play on like the lowest quality settings. So I've changed my, um, I've changed my, uh, my settings around to match that. I followed a guide online. I also did a little bit more research on attack because I'm having a lot of trouble trouble on attack. I've picked up Jackal because I was getting really annoyed with the new guy and a lot of people said Jackal was kind of like him. So, uh, you know, things are getting a little bit less frustrating, but it's still Siege, so not perfect by, by any means. Capcan and Buck, I was told to play them. Not really clicking, so I'm just gonna move on. Capcan's fine. I just don't know the map enough to get some good uh, trips down. Yeah, I learned how to scan. I was so confused. There you go. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we're getting a little bit better. Push me, I have a shotgun. Detected outdoors. No way! 
I also realized not to worry too much about my uh, KDA because of how much objective based this game is more than I actually thought but we're finally repeating maps so I'm finally playing a map for the second or third time which took a while to get there but yeah either way I feel like that's why I'm playing this girl a lot because it's having me roam I'm getting lost which I guess is a good thing because helping me learn the maps quicker this is where the majority of my hours come in in this chapter I, I did become addicted I doubled down on learning as much as I could like lowering my graphics or uh, even searching a ton of things about certain operators or if I was frustrated against an operator I would search a reddit the rainbow six siege reddit to understand counters and the only thing I didn't quite get to at the moment was studying maps offline like on my own using the map trainer which I should do technically I just kind of get bored really quick so I just thought I would grind out normally and learn over time but I was addicted I was frustrated but addicted I had some games I got zero kills literally zero but then I learned kills aren't always the game right sometimes you just got to play the objective I don't know if that was just copium people just telling me that to make me feel better or not I'm hoping it's somewhat true but yeah that was my stance so far when it came to this game let's do this gotta look for where the drones are coming from yeah, well they're not gonna come from here that's for sure that's two coming from underneath, which makes sense. Why would they not? If those two already pushed up, the others are probably already already pushed through. After this game, I should really play a free for all or deathmatch just to get used to her gun and uh, jackals. Damn, I missed the chance. I'm sad. One up here. No. Okay, we're literally all together. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I saw that come from out the window. Okay, let's see if there's been footsteps here. Okay. Nice guy. Got him. Can't I look for the footsteps? No, oh, there you are. Oh, no way. I think he's low. No way. That's crazy. We still won, but that's crazy. Flawless victory. That's how these games been. That's how these games been. Flawless victories. We're almost at 15 hours. It's time to put things together. I will play this game. I will attack and defend and I will get some kills and I will calm and I'll be a normal player. I won't be a good player, but I'll feel like I have started the journey as an R6 player. Let's see what we can do. We have to believe. Maybe this game's just all about confidence. You know what I mean? Like, you just kind of like stomp the enemy. Protect the bomb. That's on you. That's on you guys. Are they on the first? I'm also understanding the basics of the maps more. Like, each of them have their own floor and stuff. Like, that makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm going to go ahead and learn. Okay. You heard me, but I moved. I think here's perfect because we'd have to back up. Get my back up through here. How do you get around him? Damn, I hate not knowing the map. Alright, we got him. We got him. Man, I am lost. And I feel stupid on how lost I am. Okay, got him. So, we are on floor one barbecue. All right, so if they're going to be pushing through here, what we're going to want to do to get behind them is be like up here, no? Yeah. Got to pay close attention. Listen where they're going to come from. Wait, I did not expect anyone to... Wow, I almost messed up. I knew I wanted to flank her quickly, but I, I messed up by how I did it. Like, that was really bad. I thought she would be close. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I, I know scope, but even then it's better to scope. Gotta close it out on an attack, and we win this game. We didn't, oh, we didn't find it? Why did I think we found it? Where did we ping the two? Were they top floor? I wonder. Nice, there we go. All right. Nice. Gotta love that ping. He was right here, right? In that corner. 
Gotta love that ping. Yeah. Okay. We got the ping. Flawless victory. I started as a new operator. I went through tons and still do go through tons of frustration. I ended up realizing why this game was so popular and became addicted myself. But one thing was missing. One major thing. Even after tens of hours, I still only felt like I grasped the basics. So now it's time to truly understand the game. Put everything I've learned, attack properly, at least to some extent, defend properly to some extent, calm with my team, and hopefully do decent. I need to find a defender that I like and I, I don't really, you know, it ain't clicking. So let's unlock, bada bing, bada boom. A zombie, welcome to the team. Let's do it. Okay, I feel like a zombie can play kind of aggressive because if someone starts breaching, you can get a kill, then block yourself off with them. Thank you for that ping, appreciate that. So can I like, is that good? My fault. I lean the wrong way. So it definitely looks like though, based off of my research, is it looks like you're supposed to, I guess, play different defenders based on the site and map, but of course of course, of course, I'm just not that good yet. So I think she's pretty versatile because you kind of throw those those walls down at any point. You get four total. I feel like two close off a gap really well. But you can make a lot of off angles, which is kind of cool. I kind of like it. So I should be good unless they push this. If so, I'll throw a kunai and sprint. <laughs> I hope I don't get caught out. Wait, how did I not kill him? Wait, why did he die? Did I miss his head? I like her though. I like this character a lot. I think we found, finally I found the defender. So I'll play Jackal and I like, wait, I feel like the, the siege community is going to hate me. I think both my mains right now are just like, it tilts people. Something that felt really good is finally at the very least, just having operators to jump to. I understood that while searching, the best operator will be dependent on team comp, map, and skill level, but I'm not there yet. That is insane. There is no way. Actually, when you see everything said and done, 16 hours have have been clocked in give or take minus the glitch 14 to 15 hours all right that's the most i spent on this game so just having operators to jump to immediately was good and those ended up by the end being jackal for attacking and yazami for defending i only played her once but she was extremely fun and i feel she's very versatile so i ended up kind of locking in with wanting to play her also after searching those two are kind of hated by the community so i apologize i ended up being that player even though i just started I'm play closer to this site. Is that really just my aim? Really? I'm playing better, but I'm missing the aim. Well played. If I could just find the bomb site myself, I would be so happy. Noise over there. So we missed it again somehow. I need to rotate around. There has to be another way up with my team. I need to match my team. I'm low. Damn. I saw her. Like, I don't know if she could break the fucking floor and kill me from above. Like, goddamn. Above? Dude, these angles! There we go. Now we swap side and we attack. Now we successfully attack and we sweep them clean. Easy peasy. You know what I should also do? Find my own bomb. I've like never found the bomb site, but I know where this one is up here. So let's go for it. Is it here? Nope. They didn't do this bomb site. Nope. 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 So if it's not this one, oh. No, I thought I could, I thought I thought I could. I don't like how we didn't locate the bomb. I don't see any footsteps. Let's go look for some footsteps. Nice. I didn't I did nothing that last round, but GG's we won as the dust settles. I'll be completely honest This game gripped me hard. It is extre- oh, wait, what the fuck did I just say? Hey, yo. It is extremely extremely fun to play It is worth it and in 2024 nine years later I am shocked at how well it's aged But why wouldn't it age well the developers have put a ton of effort and updates into this game It only took me a little bit of reddit browsing to realize how much this game has changed. I just 
skimmed through the evolution of Rainbow Six Siege, any of those millionth videos out there, and they all showcase to me how far the game has come. For better or worse, there's changes people find decisive and others that people adore, but it is a game to stay. And now I also understand why the esports side of things is super interesting because it is, it is tactical. It does have a lot of cool and creative plays and there's so much that can happen that it of course entices you for several hours. But with all that being said, there's one thing that no matter what, from start to finish, I couldn't let go of frustration. I would just feel like some amount of tilt or anger when I died, but maybe that's just a human diff because I don't usually find myself someone who actually gets mad. Like I've played competitive games. I know how to usually just not care. Actually, to be honest, I usually just don't care. It's just something that usually doesn't affect me. But for some reason, Siege felt frustrating and I'm not entirely sure why. I'm going to assume it's the overwhelming nature of everything going on at once that I haven't been able to lock in and fully understand my own deaths. When you make a mistake that you didn't know was a mistake is probably more frustrating. With that being said, if you're an experienced Rainbow Six Siege player, does the anger ever get better? Because I want to know. But irregardless of all that, if you haven't tried this game, I highly recommend you at least give it a go.